Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I'm Udu technical developer. Uh, so in today's video we are going to talk about the PDF reporting but before going into the topic details uh, please subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Uh, so uh, we are back to the topic. So our topic is uh, how to create and print PDF reports in Udo 16. So uh, this is just a simple uh, PDF report that we will create in today's video. If you already know how to create a PDF report, so you just can leave this video. In the upcoming videos, we will uh, talk about some other points, like how you can translate a translation in the PDF report and some other topics. So uh, Odoo uses a, Q a report engine based on the QA uh, templates and uh, Bootstrap and WKHTML to PDF. So these things should be available uh, on your server. Otherwise, uh, these reports will not work for you. So basically, uh, a QA PDF report is a combination of two things. So one is a record of the model ir.actions.report model. And another thing is a standard QA uh, view. So in this, uh, in this uh, uh, model, ir.actions.report we have a couple of attributes a couple of fields that are uh, that are really important uh, for example uh, first one is the model so we need to add the model which uh, where we want to show the report so let me just give you an example of how the reports uh, will look like so if you go to the invoicing module and let me open any invoice and here just before the action button you will see another button which is print which is not yet available on our module which is Odoo uh, technical course so if we click this invoices it will print a pdf for us uh, which will be generated based on the template that uh, we define like here okay so this is the model that we need to provide like where you want to show this print button for example we want to show here on the invoice so we need to add the model of the invoice which is account.invoice like in this case the model name is account.invoice so this is another important uh, field which is report type which means like what kind of report view you want to open so if you want to open the qa pdf you need to give the type uh, qa pdf so you want to see the report in html you can provide a value like qa html so i will show you how you can do it so these two attributes are uh, to like give the name of the template that we define here so for example if the name of the template is uh, report invoice you need to provide the name the first thing which is like account dot so account is actually the module name so you need to provide the full path which is account like the module name dot report qweb report template name name means the id of the template so attachments uh, is another field which we use if we want to uh, create an attachment of uh, each print so if you print anything it will uh, create an attachment so uh, for example uh, uh, like in any case if we uh, see here if we go to the attachments we will see that the report that we printed just a make and create an attachment for this document so if you want this feature uh, you just need to uh, add attachment use true okay so here you can uh, add the attachment label like the name of the attachment record uh, like in this case if we go down you can see in inv 24 is the year and then invoice number so here uh, they have uh, provided these parameters like if it is in open and open and paid states you can you need to provide these parameters and uh, this is the name so binding model is uh, also the model that uh, you mentioned here and then the uh, binding type is a uh, report so uh, this is just a simple uh, record that we need to create in this model in order to show the print button on our module so for example if we go to the open academy and open the course we cannot see this print button so what i will do for this is uh, this is our module structure so in this module first we need to report uh, recreate another directory with the name uh, reports so let me uh, go in this module and uh, create a new directory with the name uh, reports okay so in this reports directory 
uh, we need to uh, create an XML file where we can add the XML code for creating the report object. So we will create uh, with a name uh, like um, reports.xml and here we need to add the simple uh, uh, tags for reporting. Let me show you this one and then uh, we need to add the encoding like UTF-8 and here we need to provide UDU tag and inside the UDU tag we need to just paste the code that we just copied. So here let me just uh, add uh, the proper formatting. So here we need to replace some of the uh, labels. So for example in our case we want to create the report for this openacademy.course model. So for this one we need to use uh, the ID which is Open Academy. Open, open Academy course okay and uh, then we need to add the name so here it says invoices but here we can see like print course okay and here is the model so this is the important parameter that we need to pass so we just need to copy this model name where we want to show it so just uh, copy and paste the model this will remain the same because uh, we want to print the PDF and then uh, the next thing is to add the QWeb uh, file IDs, but we have not yet defined the QWeb, so we will just uh, ignore this for now. I will also remove this for now because I don't want to uh, confuse you. And this one, so here we will replace this with this uh, model like this, and we will replace dot with. Uh, like we have used dot for the model, but in this case we will replace with uh, underscore, and this will remain a reporting. This is just a simple uh, thing that will uh, this code will just create a simple record in this model IR actions report, and it will make us uh, able to uh, show the print button here on this uh, model. So, and then uh, we just need to add. Uh, like if I show you the actual record of this uh, report in uh, Udu, let me just search for this model. So here you can see these are uh, the reports that has been created already in Udu. So if you can search out for different uh, records and you will see all the parameters that are used in this uh, case. So we have not uh, discussed about the print report name which is used to uh, like print the report name. I will discuss this also. So we just need to uh, copy the template. Um, let me just show you, for example, let me just copy this template. So this is the template ID. Let me just uh, copy it from here and like this. And then we need to paste it here. So just close the tags like this. Sorry. Like this so here we need to add the id of uh, the template this is a qweb template same like this one okay this and for for your understanding let me just copy it from here so this is not the full code of the template before this we need to close this code inside this uh, template take so like we are creating a qweb template so in order to create a qweb template you need to close this XML code inside the template tag and you need to provide the ID uh, for the uh, template for identification purposes so that we can call this template in this report action uh, so that whenever user click on the report on the print button it calls this action is it calls this template and prints the report for us okay so let me just paste the code that I just copied and uh, let me just select this and then um, identification properly so here we need to re like replace this button with the one that we want to add uh, sorry the id so we are making a report for this so we will say like um, report uh, sorry we will say sorry uh, report open academy and course this will remain the same so this is the html uh, container that will provide us with uh, like the PDF uh, template and this is an important thing which uh, we are like we need to use the for each loop 
in order to go through each record so this is used only in case if if you want to like print uh, multiple records uh, and to generate multiple uh, uh, record multiple pdf in a one go so this docs variable is very important it is actually the record set of the uh, model which we provide here this one so i will just explain uh, better uh, once we develop this report so this external layout will provide you the layout for this uh, pdf report uh, which will print you the header and footer and the company information for you and also the styling for the report is also handled here so in the in the next videos in the upcoming videos we will also discuss about how you can customize the header and footer of the report but this is just a simple uh, uh, like video that will just create a simple report so we have just created this simple template so we need to call this um, id here and then here and we need to replace replace this um, account with the actual module name where we are adding this um, report templates so this is it we have just developed uh, this report and then we need to provide like this uh, so sorry one we, we did one mistake so we need to pro create this xml uh, code after this template because uh, the xml code is executed from top to bottom so once you uh, create a template so when when the code start executing it first create the template and then it uh, creates the record uh, using this xml uh, and it search for this uh, template so if this template is not executed first it will not be available and you will get an error message that this template does not exist so you need to uh, take care of this and you will have to um, like create and mention it after the template so then we need to add this um, like this uh, reports.xml file in the manifest file so let me go to the manifest and here we need to add inside the reports reports is the directory where we have created the xml file and this is how we provide the uh, data directory okay so then we need to uh, like restart the service so uh, after Udo restart we need to go to the apps and search for the module uh, which we just created so click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so why we are upgrading the module because we have added the changes in the xmls uh, so xml need the module upgrade to see the changes so currently we cannot see it so we need to um, like refresh this page and here you go you can see this page which is print pdf so when we click on the print pdf it will uh, generate so you can see like generating pdf on windows and this thing so uh, it's pre uh, printing the pdf report and it says like the report title so this information like the company logo and company information is uh, coming because of this uh, web dot external layout so if we remove this this report will looks different okay so here uh, what we need is uh, we, we we want to print the information of this uh, course like this record so in this case uh, this is the name of the uh, name or you can say the title of the course so first in the header we in the head heading we want to print the course uh, title so how we can do this so we just need to add uh, a field here uh, like this span uh, t field equal to so here uh, the docs the docs field is like the docs docs parameter you can say is uh, the record sets of uh, the current open record so we can use docs start uh, whatever fields you want to print but uh, docs can be many like there can be multiple uh, docs multiple records in the docs variable so therefore we use the t for each loop uh, to go through each record and print the value so therefore we will use this o o o dot name in order to print the name of uh, this uh, uh, course and then we want to print uh, the responsible so in order to print the responsible uh, we just want to uh, print it here like inside the maybe h4 tag we want to print like responsible 
empty field four dot responsible id okay so you need to write the exact technical name so here we can see it is responsible id so we have added responsible id same it is it is and then uh, we have added some new fields and some new changes changes in the exam so in order to see these changes first we need to upgrade the module and after the module upgrade we will see the changes so let me click on the upgrade button and then uh, we will try to print the report again so uh, let me just try to print the report again to see if the changes has been added or not so uh, we can see the report has been printed let me open it and here you can see order 16 technical course responsible is a uh, material element so this is um, how simple you can add all this information so in order to show all this session information we will um, make a table here so for example inside this uh, page tag so let me add a table it's just a simple html table uh, class we can say table table uh, border and here we need to add the header uh, if you want to add the header for these um, headings we can add uh, same like header not it will not be header but it will be head head and body uh, and then we need to add body it's just simple html code so i will add this code and then i will show you how it looks like so uh, we have added all the session details here you can see this is the report that i printed so let me show you the code how i have done this so i just added hr tag which will add the line here horizontal line and then um, i have added the h4 tag to to add the label sessions detail just of uh, like above the table and then i just added a simple uh, html table uh, where i added the head and body tag and inside the head i uh, like mentions what are the information that i want to show on this table so like the columns and inside the column in order to show the detail of each um, uh, session so what i need to do here is to use that for each loop again why because this is uh, if we go here on the view so this is one to many field so in order to show the values of one to many field we need to use the t for each loop uh, because these are many records so we need to uh, go through each record and print the detail of each so in order to do so first of all you need to find the technical name of the field so here the uh, one to many field name is session id so if you go to the technical model definition so here you can see session id is the one to many field and then uh, it i just made a variable which is session which will be only one record uh, and then uh, dot name so in order to, to print the, uh, the value of each uh, field so we need to find the technical name of these fields so it is name it is start date you can see the technical name and this is the duration so this is it for this video and your assignment for this video is uh, to print seats and then instructor uh, here uh, just after uh, the duration so here you can see after the duration you need to add two, two columns in the header and then you need to add the values in the body so this is a, your assignment for today so if you do this assignment just uh, add your comment under the video to uh, like with the done just to show that you have done this assignment so uh, this is it for this video in the next video we will discuss how you can uh, improve this report and it we will also discuss some more parameters related to this uh, report thank you